So it's episode two for the Cali build. Rear windows have been tinted. I've also got new wires for the inside of the rear. We're gonna be fitting lighting. Also bought some wrap, some nice suede wrap. So hopefully we can put the lighting in. I mean, I've never done any lighting before, so this should be interesting. So the idea is pretty simple, right? I've bought six mil ply board. I've cut it to a certain depth and width, which should go like this. Hold on. So I've got the board in the middle. You can see there. Now, if I lifted that board up and I have it up there through the middle, but what I've done is I've cut spaces. Well, I wrote on it, raising spaces, but one halfway up and then one further along. That will drop that enough that that board will be sitting a little bit lower than the board that's already there. The idea is then I can put LED strips like those, but on the inside, down that side, down there. Then you've got the glow coming off away from the board that you can't see the lights anymore. I'm hoping it works. But before I get started with that, I need to clean the van. So let's clean the van. Oh, here they are. So, quick detailer. Obviously, that's once you're done. Nice foaming shampoo. You can see it's nice and thick. So I'm hoping that's going to be a good one. Pre-wash spray. Obviously, that's before you put on the snow foam. And you jet wash it off. Just loosens the dirt. And wheel cleaner. Because my wheels are grubby. And here you can see the windows. They've been tinted. And they look immense. Look at that. That is one bubbly boy. Literally was just spraying it on. That's all coming off. Look at that. Even this bit. Good stuff. So Caddy's all clean now. About to start with the inside. But look at that. It's all from his products. They are amazing. And who would have thought white could have a gloss on it? But it does. Looks much better. We're now on to the next part, which will be the inside. So I'm starting to take off this panel, probably this one as well. That way then it'll expose that. But at the moment as it stands, I reckon the top one should do. But I just need to see those wires take off this board. That will allow me then to see this bit. Then I've already put two cross beams, as you can see the mark in there. And there's another one up there. And then I'm gonna be putting these stilts up. So I'm hoping It'd be like one there, one there. Should hopefully hold it. And I can put some lights in. And you'll have to excuse the boots. Full time job is a gardener. So let's begin. We're in. The cable I need is this lower one because that powers the lights. So if I can find a way tracing that wherever that goes which I'm assuming it goes to the top corner because I can actually see a little wire that goes into this bulkhead bit and then hopefully I can go from there where are we at so we have taken off panel here side panel expose the electric wire just taking off the headboard now taking off the roof these two cross beams are four the spacers which go here and there and obviously on the roof they're gonna go on top then that roof will go over the top like that which is dead center and then there's gonna be one two three lights LED strips along the sides so you can't see them 
this is going to be wrapped. Um, Alcantara, suede, something like that. And then, around here, I've taken out the shelf on the right, I've taken out the side, marked out the beam, and then we are going to be taking these wires from here. They run, that's a black and red in there, runs all the way up to the LED, which is one there. You can see it, if I expose it, another one there. So we're gonna be taking those, going up. They're gonna go round, feed to the big center panel, which comes here for the lights. I'm hoping it works but what i now need to do is take off the headboard it's pretty wobbly just a few more bolts down the bottom i'm hoping this works i don't i know nothing about electrics so let's go it is absolutely massive in here jesus i mean i've taken out the headboard now so we are looking at the back of the rear seats. Now I can see the cable, which is about there-ish. I need that, and then I can see the other one here. Just by looking at it now, there's another cable here. I need to find out where that goes. I'm not really too sure. I've got a feeling that big thick one runs down the front from oh, where are we? Here, and it feeds down into the battery supply. Um, it's pretty exciting. I've never really done something like this. So uh, let's just carry on, keep stripping. And then, uh, I mean the van, not me. And uh, we'll take the old LED lights off, pull them off and boosh bash bosh, we should be almost there. So you just literally just push it down. So the next one. Oh yeah, look at that, ready to go. So I've called Nathaniel, he's helped us out. So we've got a cable, we've traced it back. I've taken off everything, headboard, boards, everything we've exposed, everything in the back. So I've got down here, the cable coming out of the battery. He said it was earthed obviously to the main battery here, down to the chassis of the vehicle. We've now got, from doing that, 12 volt, We've got the black and the red. We're gonna be running it up the side, then through, round the top. Then we're gonna feed it into the middle where we can have our three spotlights and LEDs. Faniel has come up with a genius little solution. Right, here we go. Go on, tell them what it is. Well, we've joined both the lives together. Yeah. And now we'll solder it. And then we will put the heat shrink over that. Yeah. And once they're both done, we'll put a final heat shrink over the whole lot so it's double insulated we don't want to get electric shocks and when it's in the van we don't want it catching to the metal um it's only 12 volt but we've got to do these things properly you know hopefully it all works out you never know and uh nathaniel's also brought his soul yeah so it's almost one o'clock in the morning we're almost there we've wrapped it nice suede and added the light back in we've then obviously got the hole for the rivet pop clip thing then we've made another hole there and that's going to be for the wires which are there once that's fed through into here we then will feed that through we've then got the spacer to go one there one here and then we're going to have the lines going across which we're going to stick the leds on and then there's going to be that laying over the top and it should drop, making the height a little bit different. So it should, fingers crossed, all fit. So we are cracking on. God knows what the time is now. Literally marked out the edge, going for an inch and a half, yep. all the way around. That is going to be on the line then what we're going to do is stick the led to that that's going to face out 
But the idea is that because that's facing out, the LED that's going to be along that can be shooting out. But because you've got that little lip, we're hoping that it won't be seen. Just like that. The light comes out, but you won't be able to see the LED strip. You'll just see the nice soft light. That's the plan. And uh, we will carry on. And we'll show you when this bit's done. So if you look at that, the roof is in. We've got all the clips put in. All the edges really neat. Uh, I've just got to put one clipping up there, just seen that. It's all looking good. And then now I'm cutting out the template for the middle section. 